5G is finally real. After years of hype, it's offering up opportunities for so many different sectors. What is the biggest market that can benefit from 5G in the next few years? We'll watch better video, we'll watch cloud AR content, cloud VR, cloud gaming, and we have a series of new devices coming out, like these foldable devices, which will be the foundation for 5G in a way. So better content, for one, for consumers. And the second most important market we found is that manufacturing, and specifically automotive manufacturing. So companies like Mercedes or BMW or Volkswagen, they are the key adopters of 5G technology. And they, will, they stand to benefit the most. 5G will be a game changer for VR, AR, especially in terms of the connectivity, because to have the best experience in VR or AR, you need some tethered uh, headset, but people need to not be connected to the PC. So the wireless is very important to drive the market, and the headsets which are coming actually are all wireless, so the connectivity and also the low latency will be the, the reason why VR, AR, especially in the cloud, will uh, take off. It will help us to, you know, to deliver better quality of, uh, you know, of our industrial AI. It will also help to implement absolutely new, uh, new applications like uh, real-time optimization, where you collect data, for example, video data, wow effects from steel manufacturing, and instantly you make, you provide recommendation to engineers how to change the process to, you know, to achieve better quality. I think 5G and the cloud gaming is going to transform the games and how people play games totally, that finally we can bring games to this modern world of on-demand entertainment. Of course, all of these opportunities need to be powered by expert companies, and that's where Huawei comes in. The fact that Huawei does have an end-to-end -end portfolio is very important, and from uh, specific components, I would say that its uh, active antenna units are impressive, its massive MIMO units are impressive, and also its cloud core uh, capabilities with uh, containers and microservices. And in a way, both of these are exactly what operators need to address enterprise verticals.